Hi friends. If you've already been following my videos, you'll definitely recognize this scooter. And for those watching for the first time, here's a quick explanation. This scooter was purchased specifically for a giveaway among viewers. I've already uploaded the unboxing and first impression video, and the next step was supposed to be a test ride. But during the tests, a serious battery issue appeared. Because of that, the giveaway is delayed, since the scooter will need to be replaced. And now, I'll briefly explain what exactly happened. I'm turning the scooter on. It shows a full battery, with all bars present. The voltage is 54.3 volts. The total mileage is 25 miles. This is shown so that by the end of the video, viewers can verify the total distance and make sure the trip meter wasn't reset during the test. Then I switch to trip mode to reset it and track the actual distance covered on a full charge. The test is performed strictly in eco mode. After just 3.8 miles, one bar has already dropped and the voltage shows 49.7V. After riding 5.4 miles, the voltage has already dropped to 48.9V. At 6.1 miles, another bar has disappeared. Voltage is at 48.0V. At the same distance, we notice unstable battery behavior. A previously disappeared charge bar briefly reappears and then vanishes again. This fluctuation suggests a lack of consistent battery discharge. I want to point out that I regularly complete this route on three other electric scooters. The Volpan, which has a claimed range of 18 miles, only loses two battery bars at this same distance, and it's considered a basic budget scooter. The Isin wheel, with a claimed range of 24 miles, doesn't lose a single bar on this stretch. The iScooter i10 Max has a claimed range of 50 miles, no further comments needed. But the iScooter 95S, with a claimed range of 40 miles, shows battery drop even faster than the Volpan. That raises serious concerns about the condition of its battery. After another 300 feet, at a distance of 6.6 .6 miles, one more bar disappears. Only the yellow and red segments remain, indicating an almost fully discharged battery. This is also confirmed by the voltage reading, 46.9 volts, all at such a short distance. The rest of the route remained unchanged. After arriving at work, the battery voltage was 47.6V. Suddenly, one green bar reappeared, which is abnormal. The trip showed 9.5 miles, although the actual distance was 11. The speedometer also shows an error. Switching to the total mileage, we see 34.5 miles. It was 25 at the start. This confirms that there were no resets or tampering off camera. The test is real. The scooter was fully charged four times and four separate tests were conducted. Only the fourth test was recorded on video, and that's exactly what you're watching right now. After four full charges, the scooter covered a total of just 34.5 miles, which is far below the claimed 40 miles per single charge. This clearly shows that the actual battery performance doesn't meet the stated specifications. That's why the giveaway is currently delayed. We're waiting for a replacement scooter. Once it arrives, a full retest will be performed to confirm its quality. If the new unit also shows poor results, we'll have to reject this model altogether and look for a suitable alternative. Thank you for your attention and patience. The giveaway will definitely take place.